Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea Jackson. And on this channel, I talk about plus size fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that way you're notified every time I upload a video. So, in this vlog, guys, I just got through filming a video and um, what I'm gonna do is sit down and do some planning for the next week or so. And I need to edit some videos and stuff like that. So it is Saturday night. So um, tomorrow I don't have much planned. It's going to be a chill day. I am going to brunch with my friend, my sister friend. Um, we haven't seen each other in a while. She is a busy lady. And um, she's been in and out of town. So she's back in town. So we're going to link up and have some girls time. Some much needed girls time. We also need to plan a trip. We'll talk about that tomorrow, though. But anyway, um, yeah, I've just been catching up with my girlfriends via trips. Y'all see me with my friend. Uh, sh we've been friends since high school. <laughs> we went on. We went on a, um, a little 24-hour trip to Miami. Look, I've just been trying to catch up and then get me some solo time in the meantime, in between time. So yeah, that's that. As far as my video, my weight loss video, guys, I'm so excited that you guys took positive, you know, took positive to it. I'm happy that there were grown women in the comments. And I really didn't realize how many people are on a weight loss journey as well. Because if you've been on a weight loss journey, especially if you've been overweight for a period of time, y'all know it could be difficult. And especially the older you get the tougher it gets <laughs> i remember being in my 20s and 30 year old 40 year old women used to say all the time you better you know do what you gotta do in your 20s because when you get in your 30s your metabolism it slows down so you you know i i must admit as far as i'm about to hit my mid 30s in august 35 and I will say that saying is true. Like you gotta stay active because your metabolism, I mean, it's very stubborn in your 30s. It, you, like in my 20s, I mean, I used to breathe and was able to lose weight whenever I went on a diet or whatever, but you really gotta work for it in your 30s. So I'm just gonna pass this knowledge along to the 20 year olds who watch this channel. If you have weight you gotta lose a significant amount, I'm talking 30, 40, 50, 100, whatever, how many pounds, go ahead and at least make some head weight in your 20s because when you get in your 30s, it gets tougher and a lot of people just get discouraged. Um, so yeah, I don't want you guys to have to deal with that so I'm just gonna pass that little nugget on. You can do what you want to but I wouldn't be a good older person if I did not pass on wisdom. So um, that's that. Um, you guys said you want me to share recipes and things like that. So I'll be sharing recipes. And I did in fact share a recipe in my Instagram stories the other day. Um, I found that from Goodful. Um, they also have a good cookbook as well, Goodful. They're on YouTube, they're on Instagram, and they also have a cookbook. I think I have their cookbook if I'm not mistaken um but that meal was a good low calorie low carb meal I mean you got your shrimp your veggies you bake it all and put it over a salad and you make that vinaigrette it's a very easy recipe because when I cook at home look I like for it to be simple quick I don't need to be in the kitchen slaving all day so um yeah, I got a lot of their recipes. They're nice, quick, easy, and they're actually good. And of course, these recipes, you can take them, add your own little stink to it. But these are nice bases. Um, but yeah, I'm happy you guys took good to that video. I am going to link it below just in case you have not watched it. I tell you what I did to lose 28 pounds. And yeah, um... Yeah, it's still a journey, and I'm trying to, you know, I fall off. Y'all see me, I'll be posting, you know, all my foods and stuff. But the things that I'm, I'm actively making sure that I'm not eating out as much, so you guys probably don't see me eat out as much. 
um, because that food is just full of sodium and that sodium honey you leave in there with regular size ankles you come out the door and your ankles look like this like <laughs> we ain't trying to do that because you know all that sodium and stuff like that it just it swells you up versus I can cook the same meal at home and don't even have an inflammation because I didn't put a lot of sodium in there so um, I really don't eat out as much and drinking I try to keep that to a minimum I do have a glass of red every now and then um, but other than that I just try to keep it nice keep it simple and yeah that's what I've been doing um, it's been working um, and doing my cleanses and things like that so yep I'm happy about that um, yeah <laughs> nothing else to say about that I don't want to be the dead horse with that because some of you guys may not even want to hear about the weight loss journey but yeah so that's the thing with that um, on my Instagram I have been posting a lot of stories this uh, sales and things like that in my stories it is the time of year for sales it's a lot of sales going on um, from designer this is a great time to get designer sales y'all saw the product shoes I posted it was um, they were like five something and with the sale it's like three something so it took $200 off like Burberry, Alaya, Fendi <laughs> like yeah it's all the good sales oh yeah so I did go to Chanel and because you know they just launched the um, Chanel Auton the bath tablets and guys y'all know that's my favorite the Chanel Chance that's my favorite fragrance it was my first fragrance it was my favorite and I love it <laughs> it's nice fruity floral feminine all the positive things so some people don't like it because they said it dries down kind of powdery mm, maybe um not on me at least I, I I can't tell but um I don't know I just love it I always get good compliments from it and it's not an offensive scent so um it's very good to wear to work meetings or what when you're gonna be in a professional environment or whether you're gonna be around a, around a lot of people and you don't just want to just you know <laughs> break out the door offending someone and it's on the lower end I think you can get like a small bottle like um, the travel size one like the one ounce for I think 80 bucks so yeah love chance but then, anyway they just came out with the bad tablet so y'all know I had to get them now my initial plan was to go in the store and get them but I am just too fast so I ended up ordering them online but I did go into the Chanel store and I you know wanted to take a look at them see how they are and all that they were cute they smell exactly like the fragrance and they smell like the Audi Toilette, if I'm pronouncing it right, which is the lighter version. Now, the one that I use when Chance is written in the gold, because they have two. They're both pink. But the writing, the uh, color of the font makes the difference. So when it says Chance, and let me show you my bottle. Okay, so this is the one I got right here. I need to buy me some more. But anyway, you can see that the Chance is written in gold. That is the Audi Parfum, yeah, Audi Parfum, and that's the stronger, more intense version. Well, when it's written in white, when Chance is written in white, that's the Audi Toilette, and that's a more lighter version. That one smells more fruity, more lighter, more florally. Like it's just, a, it smells the same but lighter. Oh, yeah, and I can kind of see because this one does lend the stronger version, the Audi Perfume. It does lend more powdery. I can see that, um, but it still smells good on. Now the Audi Toilette, it kind of like hits you with a good left hook in the nose with that, <laughs> with that, um, what is it? I think it's grapefruit. It's very nice and fruity, and it has that nice floral undertone. So it's perfect. So I think from here on out, I am going to get the Audi Toilette. But anyway, that's the tablet is based off the lighter version. And um, 
we're just getting it in the United States. Now overseas in Australia, China, and all those in Asia and all those areas, they had it like seven months ago. You can go back and watch YouTube Reels. You can go and watch um, TikTok videos and on YouTube. A few people have done reviews about of them and they're like from seven, three, four months ago. Well, one girl on TikTok, she put one in the bath water and when she put the tablet in there it made like this beautiful like milky rose color so i do plan on getting me some rose petals putting it in there and just luxuriate and i do actually want the spray they kind of have a like a um like a more of a body spray version like my mademoiselle that i have they have one like this and i think that's going to be my bedtime scent whenever i use the bath tablets in the little carton i guess you can call it not carton but like the box it's tin in there um i don't take baths often i don't think a lot of people do baths are more like a treat a self-care day type deal um with the way our life set up these days we don't have time to just sit in the tub all day and night we normally me personally i'm a good hot shower girl a good long hot shower <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's going to be my self-care treat. So, I'll see how long it takes me to get through those 10. But, yep, so that's with Chanel. Um, what else? I'm thinking about doing a no by July only because it rhymes. And I need to cut back on that. Like, I've been buying, like, a mad woman. But I must say, all of my purchases have been more strategic like i've been buying a lot of clothes lately but i've i need to build out my wardrobe i built my basics so i need to just build out normal clothes that i could just wear everywhere else so mm, i really can't beat myself up that bad because my purchases have been more intentional i haven't just been been buying because i just see something everything has been intentional and everything has been you know something that i actually want to wear and need, you know and kind of, well i wouldn't say need but you know things that i need to add to my wardrobe so that's what i've been doing with that um but there have been a lot of sales i mean of course y'all know zara sale is on right now um i really didn't get anything because everything that was available that i personally wanted I've already gotten it. Um, oh, my iPad fell. Um, I did see like an asymmetric sweater. It was really cute. It was like in a cream color. And it was a cute little sweater. And I think it was like $25, $30, something like that. That sold out before I got it. But other than that, I mean, me buying something from the sale is just me doing it just because. And at this point, I'm so above just buying something just because everything has to be strategic and it has to be a need. Like right now, I'm looking for some gold platform sandals. Of course, I know ASOS have them, but I've been looking at the ones from Shoots. They look really good. They look very Jessica Simpson-ish. Um, the ones I got from ASOS, of course, y'all know I purchased them before. Y'all saw the little video. And I still let y'all know about the different sales they have on them or when they're back in stock. I still show you guys on Instagram. But I had to um, send them back. Of course, y'all remember me telling y'all that. I sent them back because they were just scratched up. And I'm like, why would they ship these shoes in a plastic bag? Like, y'all didn't want to put them in a shoebox? Or, fine, you don't have a shoebox, at least ship them in a box so they're not moving around and the metallic is, is scratching each other. So, um, yeah, I had to send them back. But I really want the shoots. The shoots look more expensive. Of course, they're more. So, you know, they do look the part. I did try them on in Dillard's, and it was like a showroom you know the one that was just out on the sales floor it was a seven and a half and of course y'all know i wear a nine um eight and a half and some shoes or maybe even a ten depending on who makes them and how they fit 
but I tried on the seven and a half and guys the leather feels very smooth because I wanted to at least try them on I didn't want to make a big fuss by them having to go in the back and get them and all that but I tried them on and the leather is very soft and I was able to get my feet in that seven and a half <laughs> I mean I had a little overage but it wasn't that bad so now I kind of want to just go back and try on the shoe and my size to see what size I need to get so when I do order on them from shoots I know exactly what to get because I don't know if they have a hassle of a return policy or anything like that so I just want it to be a one and done and good to go so that's my thing with that just buying things that I need and not just you know rando stuff um other than that that's about it I guess I'm going to go ahead and wipe this makeup off, take me a shower, go to bed, and get up and get ready to go to brunch with my girl tomorrow. All right, peace. Hey y'all, so I made it, so we're about to have brunch. I haven't seen my friend in God knows how long, and I'm so excited. All right, so I'll pick y'all back up later. So me and my sis just finished yes. having lunch and now we're headed to the mall. Yes. Ah. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> Rolls Royce. Period. <laughs> Bye. Guys, do you see it? Nina Marcus is wrapped in Burberry print. That's so dope. Look, I know girls love Beyonce. Guys, let's give it up to Nike with the plus size mannequins. I think that's so dope and so all inclusive. Look at there, all over the store too. So I am back home. I had a good day today catching up with my sis. We haven't seen each other in a minute. She has a very busy life, traveling and things like that, her and her husband. So look, we had some good time today. And um, guys, so let me, I'm supposed to be done with fragrances, but I found a few fragrances that stole my heart today. This fragrance by Niche. I think that's the name of that brand and it's called something about stars or something like that y'all that stuff smell good i got so many compliments it smells so 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 good if you haven't had a chance to get your nose on it please get your nose in it i also like something amber i'm for these names are escaping me but it's by clive christian i went to smell that today guys it smells good also the clive christian in the green bottle the one for the women it smells good as well but it's sold out at least nationwide that's what the guy was saying so but it's a very clean and fresh scent the one in the gold i'm uh, in the green bottle and the ebony one it smells smooth sultry and sexy but niche whatever that brand is that's my absolute fave and guys i love it i've been sniffing my arm, ever since they sprayed it on me earlier, it smells good. I also went to Zara and I went in and got, um, let me show you. All right, so I went and got this fish. My nephew got that TV loud. But I went and got this fish thing. 
It's like a belt and it's like a fish scale and fish head and tail. It's really cute. It gives you 90s vibes. You know, our moms used to have them back in the 90s. It was on sale for $19. I got this in a size 85. And guys, Brittany Pockets and Bows, if you're not watching her or if you're not subscribed, check her out. She bought this, but this was before it was on sale, but she just had a Zara sale recommendation because y'all do know Zara have a sale going on literally right now. And um, she recommended this because I saw it on the website even before it went on sale too. And um, I didn't really think twice about it. I kind of thought about it, but then I didn't because I'm like, I don't know if it's going to fit, but it does stretch. And um, I'm going to insert a video of me here trying it on at Zara. But yeah, I got it and it was like $19. And I really think it'll be cute over like some dresses, some oversized dresses to give you some shape to bring your waist in. Um, I have like a lot of linen dress like button downs from Zara. And I think it'll be cute with this over it. You can just wear this with so many things. And again, it's $19. So it's like, eh, you can't beat that. So yeah, that's the deal with that. Um... Other than that, I really didn't get anything else from the sale. Um, I got a headband. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. But yeah, I love this. This is cute. This is cute, cute. And I'm happy about this. They have the floral headband, the colorful one that I tried on a couple of weeks ago. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, y'all saw me. It's like a whole bunch of flowers. It was colorful, like orange, lavender. I may go back and get that if I sleep on it and I can't shake it tonight. I may go back and get that because it's like $22. So, um, because with Zara pieces and everybody is, they're telling you guys this. And when people tell you this, I would take heed. Zara have some really good pieces and they go with you for years. Um, the sequin headband that I wear all the time. A lot of stuff that I wear from Zara, y'all be asking me where I get it from. And I tell y'all zara circa 2012 2014 because when they have accessories and i journey because she just mentioned this in one of her latest videos take heed britney just said it in her videos zara pieces their accessories last for years and years to come even their clothes um so when they have like good accessories and things like that you want to hop on them because you'll be wearing them for years like and and like I was saying before I got off on a tangent, that sequin headband that y'all always be to asking me about, I got that from Zara back in like 2014, 15, something like that. And I still wear it to this day. I still get compliments when I wear it out. Zara, a lot of people like to play them to the left like they some glorified she in. Y'all better stop sleeping. <laughs> Zara, you know, they may be technically categorized as fast fashion but they're not to be played to the left like a lot of people try to play them uh, even y'all fave like celebrities they be wearing zara too so let's not sleep let's not sleep on zara so yeah that's that on that um i'm trying to not buy any fragrances and i think i may do a no by july so yeah i need to stop spending but yeah, that's the thing with that. I'm going to close out this vlog here. I'm so happy you guys tuned in. I thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing. I appreciate y'all. Y'all really know I, I appreciate y'all so much. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.